Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. So this morning, actually it's more like this afternoon. Uh, let's, talk about, let's talk about DF64P. I've been using it for past a week now. So I think I feel like I have a good handle on what this grinder can handle and what's capable, capable, uh, capable of it. And so this morning, actually this afternoon, I'm gonna share with you the things. It's only two things, that's it, okay? So this is, I don't wanna say entry level grinder, it's more like affordable uh, coffee grinder. So DF64P, you know, they need to change the name, okay? You should be espresso, they need to put espresso on it because this grinder is, the one thing I don't like, uh, I don't like about this grinder, the range, the range, that's it. So this is espresso focused. So if you are into uh, espresso, this grinder may be the one for you, okay? But if you are thinking about branch out to, let's say French press, forget it. Okay, you're not gonna get French press. Uh, V60, it's gonna be rough. Okay, it's gonna be rough. So again, if you are into espresso, this is this is the one. So the first thing, the range is very limited. Okay, the first thing is the range is extremely the limited to espresso. Okay. The second part is calibration. Uh, for example, uh, let, let, let's take a look. Okay. I'm gonna bring you guys closer. There you go. So this is the F64, just plain the F64, okay? If you wanna calibrate this, uh, finding zero point. Very simple, you just turn, whatever you hear the tripping noise, so you don't want to go too far. Whenever here the gear is tripping, that is your zero point. So, so right now I set at number 40 right now. I have the mark right there. That's my zero point. And then hope I'm gonna go slowly. Okay. I'm gonna go very, very slow. Hold on, almost there. Right there. Okay, so that is my zero point. With uh, comes to DF64P, unfortunately, one of you buy brand uh, from factory, it's not gonna trip because they intentionally did that. But here, here's the here's the kicker. Let's say if you're upgrading to SSP birds, so it comes with just regular uh, 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 kind of Italian style uh, uh, bird set comes with. So let's say if you want to upgrade to SSP. For this one, I know some of you already saw my installation on the uh, Gorilla, uh, Gorilla Burst. So I did install Gorilla Burst here, okay? And then, so this is the what the factory comes with, all right? So whenever you install the brand new Burst, you have to calibrate to find the zero point. That is tricky part. There's no way to do that because you see the range. So this is the range. With DF64, there's infinite. I mean, goodness. I mean, you can go fine as uh, fine as or coarse as, as get. So there's a lot of range behind this DF64 uh, plane. But with uh, DF64P, so that's the range right here. This is it. Okay. And another thing I don't like about this, okay, uh, the fact is I like a lot of things about this one, but I'm gonna share with you something I don't like. Uh, let's say if you are uh, <coughs> dialing in darker roast, okay? So I have coffee from, so this is a very dark roast, okay, from uh, coffee from DiMello. It's really dark. As you can see from here, a pretty darker roast. You have to go coarser if you're gonna brew some espresso. Uh, you know what, uh, we're gonna do that, okay, uh, shortly. I'm gonna brew some coffee for you. But again, so this one I dialed in at all the way up to, goodness, like 45. Hold on, let me put my glasses on. No, I'm sorry, 50, uh, 
50, like 53, okay? 53. So that's a dark roast. Let's say if you're using Starbucks, if you're using Starbucks coffee, Starbucks is really dark. I mean, we might get choked, okay? It's gonna be, you it might, it might not get the grinder size you are needed for DF64 feet if you're using really, really darker roast. So again, if you like darker roast coffee, uh, you are into espresso, this one give you, give, give you some little trouble, okay? Give you some, a little trouble there, so. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna shout out to Lance. Lance is on the live chat right now. So again, so I'm gonna show you the, the calibration, okay? Because I do have my demo unit here. So if you wanna calibrate this, Lance, if you're gonna watch this, so this is how you're gonna calibrate it. Okay, let me show you, here you go. I'm gonna flip the camera around. All right, here we go. Once you remove that, remove the base. You have to remove the base. They got the rubber feet. I got one, two, three, four, five, but it's only four, okay? Only four of them has the screws in it, as you can see from there. And then remove it. And then you're gonna have the tie down. And then you need to re uh, cut the tie, the plastic tie there, lift it. You're gonna see the bolt. And then you have to use your, uh, this is half an inch. You have to loose, uh, loosen up. And then you are going to move the, this level, okay? To uh, properly adjust. So what you need to do is, if you are installing the brand new birds, okay? First, you gotta find the zero point and then you gotta align it. So you gotta do the alignment first. So you can, uh, you can heal the trip, okay? And then after that, if you finish the alignment, and then you have to calibrate at zero point. So it's a multiple step, right? It's a multiple step. Uh, so you can get it from Joe from Espresso Outlet. Okay, shout out to Joe. I told him to have him join me on live chat there, but he's not here, but uh, have him do it, okay? If I were you. Uh, if you're planning on upgrading your birds, spend the extra money right now. Have him uh, uh, upgrade the birds for you. Have him align it, which means he, he, uh, he's going to uh, set the, calibrate the birds for you at the same time, all right? Uh, perfect, okay, so, so Joe is listening. So again, if you are thinking about DF64P, save you some time and headache, have them do everything, all right? So again, the calibration, little tricky. It's not hard, okay? It's not hard, but it's a little tricky. Compare to, we are, okay, it's, it's a compare to DF64 plane, okay? DF64 is Man, so this is nice and easy to work with. Alignment can be challenging, but this one, calibrate, uh, calibration as process, and also alignment as well. But I highly recommend, if you are thinking about upgrading your birds, yeah, uh, have a jewel do it. I think a jewel is selling for what? 420 on this one right now, 420 bucks. And then uh, he's also carrying the uh, multiple SSP birds as well. He has a cast birds, uh, HU birds. <coughs> what else he got? Uh, cast, HU, MP birds. I, I do really enjoy the MP birds. Uh, MP birds are fantastic. Let's see here. I mean, that, that that's the few things I don't like about it. And that comes to the look and feel to it, the premium feel to it. Kind of that nice matte finish has some texture on it. Uh, what else? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it looks really good. Okay, 
I know some people like modify by like tilted base. So far, I have no problem with it. So, all right, let's make some coffee. Okay, let's make some coffee here, folks. You know, I think I'm gonna do the direct dose. Okay, I'm gonna do the direct dosing here. <clears throat> Actually, Joe is selling so uh, this adapter <clears throat> looks something like this. I don't know if it comes Joe is that comes with this or that's something you have to separately purchase. I'm not quite sure about yeah, I mean that is a pretty handy. So again, I set a number fifty three. <clears throat> little noisy, little wobbling. That, that's why this one has the uh, little uh, rubber gaskets. <clears throat> Man, look at that. I mean, that is pretty fluffy coffee grinds. Very fluffy coffee grinds there. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna do a quick WDT. Yeah, very fluffy. Goodness, it does. I mean, I uh, I prefer direct dose versus uh, using the cup. <coughs> All right, let's finish the puck prep. Uh, looks pretty good there. I'm just gonna use my puck screen. Well, that's for some shot. Let's take a look. So I'm using the Gorilla Gear Burst. Uh, looks pretty, I mean, you know, it works really good, I have to say. <clears throat> yeah, it works pretty good there. I'm just gonna go one to two ratio. I got 26 seconds at 35 gram. I mean, that's perfect shot. Let's give it a try. Okay, if you are just joining us for the first time, <coughs> welcome to live streaming. All right, here we go. So this is a coffee from Dimello. This is a very dark roast. Cheers, guys. Man, chocolate, nutty. I felt like I'm drinking dark chocolate syrup. It, it's really good. I mean, if you guys are into darker roast, Dimelo does a pretty good job there. Anyway, so, uh, so let's talk about who this grinder is for, okay? So this grinder is for someone loves medium to light roast espresso. It'd be perfect for that. Uh, if you are into like, if you want to do multiple brewing method, espresso all the way up to B60, French press, this is not it, okay? Just make sure you remember that. Unless, okay, you are going to spend, you know, time to recalibrate this. You could do it. Recalibrate to give you more of uh, back end, the range there. But that's a lot of work, okay? That's a lot of work. So if I were you, if you are into multiple brewing method, I go with DF64. And uh, if you are, you know what, I don't care about the uh, filter coffee. I only care about the espresso. So this is interesting, okay. And also, we have a lot of options. That's the, that's the reason why I love the DF64, the models, because the 64 millimeter, they're widely available, comes to birds-wise. We have HU, 
we have MP cast Gorilla Burst, the 64 millimeter. I bet you I uh, uh, left out a femur grinder, so femur birds there. So again, uh, I'm gonna big shout out to Joe. Make sure to check out the Espresso Outlet. I don't, I don't know Lance is still here or not. I'm gonna shout out to Lance as well. Uh, I think Lance just uh, did an unbox today on his uh, brand new studio. Man, what a sharp studio he got. Let's see here. Uh, I think we'll, I'm gonna shout out to, you got Morgan's on. Shout out to Morgan, you got Jonathan. Let's see here, we have a Play Nice Games, okay? All right, Play Nice Games. Uh, thank you for joining us. I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. And then some point I'm gonna be unboxing, maybe like, uh, let's do on Monday, okay? I have another one here. Uh, Joe sent me this one. <clears throat> it's called DF64E, okay? E means electric. So, has a nice display on the top. Can think of it as a DF64P with hopper, all right? With a hopper. So, I mean, if you have like small cafe, Man, if you have a small cafe, you don't want to spend a lot of money. I mean, that's not a bad idea either. Because I know some cafe has a motor for coffee grinder. So, I mean, everything is all, you know, as you saw, the coffee grinds are very fluffy. Because I think uh, it could be the birds, okay, because I recently upgraded to Gorilla Birds. So, anyway, uh, look like Richard just popped in. Shout out to Richard. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. No, wonderful afternoon. And see you guys next time.